Hi, my name is Brooke and I work with Nebraska Agriculture in the classroom and today we are going to learn all about pigs. I will share some information with you about pigs. I'll ask you some questions and then at the end we are going to make our very own pig habitat. So follow along with me and learn a little bit more about pigs in Nebraska and how we raise them. Pigs in the United States are raised to help feed pig or people all over the world. They provide us with things like pulled pork sandwiches, pepperoni, bacon, ham, pork chops, pork ribs. Can you think of any other items that might come from a pig? Maybe even sausage or pork hot dogs. A pig grows from two pounds to 250 pounds to serve people as a source of food. The way they grow has a lot to do with the habitat they live in. Habitats have changed over time. Pig habitats have always changed as pigs were found many years ago. Fossil records show pigs were roaming the earth as early as 40 million years ago. It's said that the first pig set hoof in North American soils when Christopher Columbus had eight pigs with him in 1493. Do you think farmers raised pigs the same way in history as they do now? No. In 1493, the pigs roamed wild and they ate whatever they could find. They often got sick and no one knew how to make them feel better. Pig farmers have changed pig habitats over time to provide better care for their pigs. What do you think? Where do pigs live? Technology has helped farmers become better caretakers. We can care for disease, genetics, and muscle growth with new tools. Family farmers are leaders in pork production with 100 nations relying on the United States for the pork that they eat. We continue to improve what we do every day to provide top care for pigs. A lot has to do with keeping them in temperature controlled barns. At a farm I visit, they study the traits of a pig. They are studying how much they eat and how much time it takes for them to eat it. Do you know anyone who counts their calorie intake, doesn't eat carbs? We are doing the same thing by watching their diet to see how much weight they gain. We measure how big their pork chop is and how much fat they are going to have on their chop. This helps us to, to be better caretakers by not having fat pigs, but lean pigs that are healthier. Why raise pigs in a barn? Barns protect pigs from the weather, disease, and predators. It allows farmers to control a pig's environment to make sure the basic needs of food, water, clean air, and space are met. Soy meal from soybeans provide protein for mussels and corn provides energy. Our pigs are also fed a mixture of minerals and vitamins to keep them healthy. It is a common misconception that farmers feed pigs table scraps or slop. Feeding pigs garbage, raw meat, meat scraps, or restaurant waste puts them at risk for getting sick and is illegal in the United States. The feed is made at a mill. A delivery driver hauls it to our farm on a truck and puts the unique feed in each bin and we use an auger to get it from the outside of the bin to the inside feeders for the pigs. Each pig has a unique diet, and at our farm, the pigs will eat seven different diets throughout their lifetime. The pigs can eat as much as they want, whenever they want. It is important the pigs have clean, fresh drinking water. We have waters that they can walk up to at any time so they can drink as often as needed. The barn also has a great ventilation system. There are fans throughout the barn. They have to make sure the blades are clean, the thermostat works, and that there are no damage or rust on the fans. 
Each pen or home for the pigs has a certain number of spots available. Just like your classrooms can only hold so many students, we can only fill each pen with a certain number of pigs. This makes them comfortable and ensures they have the best environment to grow big and healthy. How do, we, how do pigs stay warm on cold days? How do pigs stay cool on hot days? Computer technology is used to help control the temperature. Heaters are used to help the pigs stay warm. Today, it is 90 degrees in the barn. We use fans and misters to help them stay cool in the summer. The barn also protects the pigs from outside heat because pigs can get sunburned. Providing shade for pigs is an important part of keeping them healthy and safe. How do pigs stay healthy? How do pigs stay safe from predators? Who takes care of the pigs every day? On this farm, you will see a sign as you pull up that says stop. This is a biosecure facility and area. That means there are special precautionary actions that farmers must take in order to enter their barns. So you can see this lady has to remove her shoes and she, says, she sees the sign that says no shower, no entry. We keep germs from spreading by showering into the barn. By doing this, we make sure we aren't bringing in any diseases that they could catch that could make them sick. We also wash the barn with hot water after the pigs leave. We use a cleaner to help sterilize the barn as well. Pigs can get really sick if they live in a dirty barn. Keeping them healthy means we give them less medicine, which is always our goal. How do pigs affect the land or air which they live? First, grain crops like corn and soybeans are grown in fields. Second, the feed is made from the grain. Then the grain is fed to the pigs and provides nutrition pigs need to grow. Pigs can't use all of the feed they eat to convert to muscle or energy, so manure is produced. Manure is collected under the pig barn and then injected into the soil or applied to the field as fertilizer to help crops grow like corn and soybeans. This cycle repeats itself every day. Taking care of the environment is a priority for pig farmers. The land is the farmer's livelihood and protecting the pig and protecting it takes care of the pigs, people, and the planet. Pig habitats have changed over time due to technology advancements. A pig's habitat includes adequate food, water, shelter, or cover, and space. The land is the farmer's livelihood and protecting it takes care of the pigs, people, and planet. So today we are going to create our very own pig barns. So with the supplies that you have gathered, you are going to need a roll of tape, some scissors, some scrap paper. So if you have any construction paper, any envelopes, any paper that you can use to help build this barn. If you have any plastic straws or anything like that, anything that you could really use, pipe cleaners, other things that you could use to help assemble your barn. Your barn has some requirements. It has to have a roof to protect the pigs from the environment so that we can control the temperature and protect the pigs from getting sunburnt or bringing any diseases into those barns. And it has to be enclosed on all sides. So we need an enclosed barn, a roof, and a door because a farmer has to be able to get into the barn to check on its pigs. This is a sample of what my barn looks like. It has four sides to it and a roof and my door. This opens up so that then you could create your stalls inside your barn. I also got creative and took a toilet paper roll and my straws and this was some paper and I created a grain bin or a storage for our pigs to use.
So if you can see this up here, we have our grain bin, our pig barn. Your pig barn does not have to look like mine. Be creative and design your own barn, but remember it has to have a roof and be enclosed on all sides. And then you can create other things like a fence, um, stalls inside the barns, feeders, waters to protect those pigs and give them the things that they need to survive, which is food, water, shelter, and air. Again, you're going to need scissors, tape, scrap paper, and anything else that will help you design your barns.